Hi, this is Timothy Mulroney, Graduate Coordinator for the Department of Environmental Earth and Geospatial Sciences at North Carolina Central University. I want to give a short tutorial on the application for candidacy and the plan of project or your thesis. Recently, we moved to the College of Health and Science and the uh, dean and the associate dean are still working to finalize the processes, so there may be some you know, disconnects or whatnot. So I want to make sure we're able to submit, uh, submit these in a timely manner and make sure that uh, you're able to graduate and progress to candidacy and submit your plan of project of thesis on time. So typically, when you apply for candidacy and you s submit your plan of thesis, they're all going to be done together. And you're going to be doing this after you take and pass your comprehensive exams. This is typically done at the end of your third semester or your second to last semester if you're an ABM student or, uh, you know, in the accelerated program or right at the beginning of the fourth semester, which is your very last semester. So I have a Google Drive here that has some examples of these forms and we're going to go through these really quickly. Now, the four forms that we need. We need the admission to candidacy, and this is for both students and faculty members. We need an admission to candidacy. We need a plan of project or thesis form. We need the project summary, and I've provided an example in the Google Drive that we'll look at. And then we also need a, a copy of your unofficial transcript. And so really quickly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at these. So the first thing that we looked at and I asked about was the admission to candidacy. So if you click on that Google Drive, and I've given access to everyone to do that, do this. This has a number of forms that are uh, that are useful to both faculty and students. We have the application to candidacy, and if we click on application to candidacy, this is the form that needs to be filled out. What you need to put in, and you'll work directly with your advisor, your graduate advisor your 820 number, your name, your email, your major, which is Earth Sciences, and then the concentration. We have two concentrations. We have applied and we have general. Those are the only two. Credit hours completed to, that, to date, total credit hours for the program. Your credit hours completed to date, how many that your transcript says at the current time that you've completed. So it might be 24, it might be 27, it might be 30. Total credit hours required for the program, 30. Our graduate program is 30 credits. Next form we have here, going down, the course prefix. So course prefix might be EASC 5120 or 5010. Course hours, typically they're going to be three and then the semester and the year. So spring, summer, fall, and the year they were taking it. And so you're just gonna list all the courses that you've already completed right here. So you'll be working with your advisor to fill this out. Any transfer credits that you've had, and then remaining credits. So these are going to be the courses that you are currently enrolled in. So if you're submitting this in your third semester, well, there are gonna be a lot more courses here than if you're submitting this in your fourth semester. The requirements for candidacy. Foreign language required? No, that is no longer a requirement. Examination requirement. We have a master's comprehensive exam. That is currently a, uh, that is currently a requirement. And right down at the bottom of your transcript, this is a sample transcript that I have for someone, at the bottom of your transcript, you can see the date that you passed it for this particular student. Master's written comp exam passed, 7-23-20. Here's another one at the bottom. Master's written exam passed, November 4th, 2016. And so you'll be putting in that date right there. PhD is not required. PhD, this isn't applicable. There are no other applicable uh, uh, requirements here. Your student signature. You'll sign it right here, and you can sign it digitally. We're using a, you know, Adobe. Print your name here. And then this is the Department of DEGS. And then your graduate advisor will sign and date this. I will sign and date this. And then I'll pass this along to the department head so she can sign and date this, and we can get this to the appropriate people. Okay, so this is the application for candidacy. The next form that we have is the plan of project, okay? Plan of project or thesis, 
I have two forms here. I've got a fill of, um, one's PDF, one is a Word document. Same exact thing. You put in your HUO number right here, you print your name and your email, and then your proposed title is going to go into this part right here. You're going to check if you're doing a thesis or a project. So you'll work directly with your advisor if you're going to do a thesis or a project. And we've talked about the differences before on those. This is just going to be three or four brief, uh, three or four sentence brief summary on it. You'll have to add a written plan to your project, but this is just going to be three or four sentences very briefly. This will be a signature and you'll sign it and then you'll also date it. And then here your committee chair is going to fill this out. So your committee chair and you, you'll work with your committee chair, who your committee chair is going to be. It, it'll be your advisor. And then there will be other committee chairs on your thesis or project committee. And they'll check these off. And then your graduate committee chair will sign this. And then the department head will sign this. And all these forms will be sent to me in one package. Okay? So this is the plan of project or thesis. The next thing you'll need is a project summary. So if you saw with this plan or project, if we looked at the directions here, it said here, attach a written plan for your project, purposes and objectives, how the topic will be examined and work plan, describe the data collection analysis, analysis comment on the value and significance of this project. So here, I have a plot project and summary example. It talks about the purposes. I have the title of it here. This was one that I submitted, uh, we submitted a couple of years ago. This is the project in uh, objectives, how the data will be examined, data collection and analysis, and the value and significance. So you can see those exact headings that are there. Very last thing that you'll need is a copy of your unofficial transcripts. And if you show, uh, saw before, you can go to my EOL or go to Banner and download your transcripts. And so you can see some examples of transcripts here. These are more complete transcripts. So you can see the written comps, admitted to candidacy, and these will be updated once these get submitted. This has got the project title, and you can see this particular person here. They passed their oral exam. Now, very last thing, these are to be fully completed by you and your advisor. So be sure everything's filled out. Be sure everything's signed. And all four of these are to be submitted me, to me as a package together by your advisor so I can review. So I will not be receiving these from you. I'll be receiving all of these from your advisor so I can review those. I can sign them where I need to, and I can send them to the department head. So I need four different forms, admission to candidacy, plan of project or thesis, a project summary, and a copy of your unofficial transcripts, and they're all to be submitted to me. And then I'll review those and pass those on the department head so we can get those to the, the dean and to the appropriate schools.